Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 26 of Darwell20's Enigmatica 2 Expert Series. Hey, we're flying past things. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Uh, today I'm working on Blood Magic, which should come as a surprise to a few people, uh, considering I said that's what we'll be working on today. Huzzah! Munch, 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 munch. I went and made myself a gluttony charm and a sleep charm between episodes real quick, uh, just for fun. And profit. Mostly fun. Uh, and also so that I could eat faster because I get impatient with things. Um, so today, I think it's time that we get started on Blood Magic because it's going to unlock a couple cool things that I want to make sure to get. There's actually some really uh, useful stuff in Blood Magic that will be great for us uh, in this pack at this current tech stage. And it's going to make my life a lot easier. So I think I just need a furnace now. Oh, that's right. Furnaces are annoying in this pack. I forgot. And uh, then we just need some arcane stone, which I think I've got some somewhere. There's some. Nice. And that is the complicated list of ingredients needed to make a blood altar. Hooray! Now that that's made, I'm almost certain that we don't need any more item-based demonic wills. We can always get more if we need it, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is take this out of my inventory and... And that should fill up my Tardic Gem, and that's awesome. And remember, your Ascension Sword gets more powerful as your Tardic Gem increases uh, its its storage. And we're going to upgrade the Tardic Gem uh, as we go through and do things in life, and that'll be cool. We'll get there, um, but we'll, we'll get there probably in a little bit. So we've got our Blood Altar, which is cool. Uh, and we're going to want a Sacrificial Dagger, which is going to require a Soul Scribe from Batania and an Alchemical Brass Ingot. Uh, and the Soul Scribe is Living Wood, Mana Steel, and Mana Pearl. Shouldn't be too bad to get our hands on. We've even got some mana, so that's awesome. Uh, I think... Where is all my living stuff? See, I should have just done Applied Energistics. But no, instead I'm going to look all over my base and all around everywhere for where my resources are stored. No, I'm pretty sure they're over here, though. Um, so, that's cool. So, Sack. Official Dagger... That guy needs one living wood twig, so that's easy enough. And then you get dropped into this pool. Okay. And that makes you this thing. And we might have enough glass on us that we can just do the thing. Huzzah! Oh, and alchemical brass, we've got some over here. And if we don't, we'll make some. Now, chemical brass. I just grabbed some like a second ago for uh, the blood altar. I needed to get those plates. So I knew I had some. Cool. Sacrificial dagger. Good to go. All right. So we'll probably start off like with all most things in, in, this, in, in this mod. Um, how are we for food, by the way? Nice. We're, our food's getting up there. We're going to start off... Um, with like just a, a, a basic area and then if you guys want to submit cool things for us that would be cool right so i should be able to uh sacrificial dagger my way down to a pretty low bit of health and then we'll eat some good food to get us to a healthy position again hooray healing and eating good food will probably be a smart move on our part, right? Yeah, I think so. So that, hey, cool. Lots of life essence. Remember, there's that internal buffer in Blood Altars. And uh, once it gets full, that life essence won't start disappearing anymore. But you get the idea, right? So that should get us the first thing. So was that a quest? I would have imagined Blood Altar would be a quest in Blood Magic. It is. Oh. Yeah. Claim. Okay, cool. So I did it. Uh, and now what we need to do, uh, we made the Sacrificial Dagger, so we did get that quest. Cool. And then there's the Dagger of Sacrifice. We do want the Divination Sigil, right? So the Divination Sigil is going to be Redstone with a blank slate on Arcane Ashes. And Arcane Ashes is Redstone, uh, Bone Meal, Gunpowder, and Charcoal. 
redstone, bun bone meal, gunpowder, and charcoal in this thing, which we're gonna move. Yes, redstone, charcoal. Gunpowder and I don't have any bone meal. I will in a second. Yes, there's more efficient ways to make that. No, I don't care. Ooh, I gotta love that fast eating. I gotta love that fast eating. That is that is cool beans right there. Cool. So you guys form together with that thing to make the thing. And then we're gonna take one of our blank slates that we got as a quest reward, hooray, Arcane Ashes, uh, and get the Divination Sigil. So that'll be like one of the first things we get um, to make our life a little bit easier. Now, as I recall, is it this and then that? I wanna say that looks about right. Things are happening, Divination Sigil for the win. Hooray! The answer is yes. So now we can divine the contents of this, even though, uh, you know, which McCall was telling me before, right? Good job. So we now know how much uh, stuff is in there. So we can dagger of sacrifice this up. So we get a decent amount, but we're gonna we're gonna make the the tranquility thing happen here in about a second, and that's gonna make our life a lot easier, right? But let's just get the foundational stuff going. Right, so uh, next thing to make per the quest book. Uh, so we made our arcane ashes, yay. Uh, we'll wait for mobs and we'll get lesser tardic gems going. We made the divination sigil, right? The next thing we wanna get is blank runes, right? So it's or dictionary, but there's the blank rune, right? So let's see what's involved in getting a blank rune. All right, so to get a blank rune, it's the standard recipe of smooth stone an orb, and a blank slate. So the weak blood orb is a mana diamond in there. So that shouldn't be too bad. And I'm pretty sure that it's living rock that we drop in there to get a blank slate. Cool. So we'll do a little bit of, uh, if we can, intelligent automation around this thing today. But let's get our living wood. We've got some here, right? And we wanted uh, a mana diamond. And we'll open our loot bags in a moment. Cool. It looks like it's getting dark out, so we're gonna kill some mobs in a sec and get some more will and upgrade our will thingy. But the theory is that I should be able to do this, and you'll do your stuff, and then spit out a tier one orb. Hooray, boom, bound to me. It's my tier one orb. Thank you. Sweet. All right, not too shabby. Then the next thing to do would be to put this in here. And we're gonna need a healthy amount of these. And we'll see, I'm not sure if you can get Tranquility when you're at a tier one altar still, but we'll probably find out, right? Um, so it looks like it's gonna be nighttime, so let's be prepared to fight. And I'm gonna go clean up my inventory because we're gonna be fighting and we're gonna get lots of junk. Because we know we're gonna get lots of junk. So what was I putting in here, by the way? Nothing? All right, so you're gonna be my stuff I have on me. I do want you still, and probably you, and my food. But, um, in fact, you can probably just go away for a minute. I don't need watering can at this minute. Um, we can also put you away and you. And let's open up our loot chests. So we got some greenhouse glass. That's kind of cool. That makes crops below it grow faster. We got a scanner, which we already had, and a taco. Hmm. Taco Tuesday. All right. So greenhouse glass I'm actually going to put in here. Okay. And uh, I guess we don't have too much junk on us that we can just keep it all, right? That should be fine. So we want our sling on us. Uh, I do want to have my sword in case things get a little bit too crazy. And we should probably also have a storage chest of some kind to put blood magic-y type things in, kind of like we did with our other things for the time being, right? So we'll pop this guy, you know, right over here-ish and like this and this and this and this and this can go in there for now. And meanwhile, we're gonna collect wills and hey don't I have oh I don't have that's why come here you so I can start off sweet doot 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 right and that'll grow 
So now we just run around, kill mobs, and upgrade our wills. Um, and when I when I have this thing filled, we'll come back and Taco Tuesday. Then we'll uh, do some good stuff. Uh, we'll upgrade this to the next tier uh, so he can hold even more will, which will make this a stronger and more damaging sword and give us access to just better uh, progression in, in uh, blood magic. Sound like a plan? So for now, uh, we'll come right back. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, got a bunch of junk right here that we're putting away. And there, and this, and that's cool. All right, so a bunch of junk, but we're good. Uh, we got this thing filled up to a cap of 64, right? So that was, um, remember, this guy was lapis, gold, redstone, glass, right? So glass, gold, lapis, uh, glowstone, no, no, not glowstone, gold. Uh, gold, 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 gold. There you are, right? So that'll get me that. Um, now what we want to do is upgrade this guy, which requires what? What gets me the second tier? This diamond block of redstone block of lapis. Okay. So then we'll... Do this. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Pop out here. Doesn't matter if it's night or dark or whatever. Um, one shot. Loving it. Alright, so with you in there, right, we wanna do um you, 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 and what was it? Oh, it's glass, that's right. Okay. Uh, no, not diamond. Uh, what are you? Lapis, glass, gold. Where's my extra lapis? I grabbed ten lapis, did I not? I bet I left it in the crafting table, didn't I? Dire, please. Yep, still on the crafting table. Derp. No wonder I couldn't find the resource I needed. Alright, so that gets you up to... 63, which we'll just fill it up all the way now with an extra will. Cool. Now you should combine with these guys to make a tier two Tardic Gem. Excellent. And then that used up, you know, 20 will, but I should be able to right click this guy. And what we'll do is we'll put him away. And there is the quest complete for the lesser Tardic Gem, which is awesome. Uh, and we also got a quest complete for the weak blood orb and for the blank slate. Nice. All right, so I'm going to be doing more killing now. This guy's up to, well, he's seven damage, but he'll do a little bit more again in a second. Uh, more killing of mobs so that we can get more willpower. And once we have that, we'll be able to get the really cool item that Dire wants. And we're going to hope that it's not, like, secretly nerfed. Because all intents and purposes, it's craftable. And I'll be very upset if it's secretly nerfed. Because it's a cool item, and it's going to make my life super happier. But first, mob killing. All right, back here with some junk. Let's put away most of the mob drops we got. Ooh, a Fluix Crystal Fry Pan. That's kind of a cool and funny item, right? Uh, and then we got a couple quest rewards. Ooh, Futura Blocks, nice, and ice. That's cool. Remind me I have ice at some point. Now, I think I can repair you. Can I repair you? I can add a chance. I thought you were repairable, uh, but maybe I'm making that up. But We'll figure it out if, uh, if things get to be troublesome with this sword. So we've got uh, our will up to 118, which is cool. So what's involved in... Let's see, what we want to do... All right, so let's start off with a temporary, uh, like most things are, uh, tranquility area here. Now I'm pretty sure that I need to wait for Tier 2 Blood Orb before I can make the Wooden Paths, right? So I can't do that with a tier one orb, correct. We need to wait for a tier two orb before we can do that. Uh, however, we can start with the incense altar and get that cooking. Um, and that can kind of go wherever, right? Um, and you don't really start upgrading it until, uh, here we go, there we are, nice. Tranquility, all right. So if we look at this, we don't really start upgrading this until let's see so we're at a 
plus 20%. Sweet. Uh, until we get to tier 2. But this should give me a lot more of this. So like 4,600? Boom. 9351. Nice. Nice. Right? That's what's up. Um, so now what we want to do is probably figure out if there's a sneaky, tricky way to automate um, stuff. Right? So let's do this. I'm going to probably want... Can I have a retrieval node by chance? I think I can. Uh... Which one of these lets me specify? I'm going to see if the iron one does, because Eyes of Ender shouldn't be too hard to get for me at this point. Right? There you are. Okay. So we'll do that, and then we'll get uh, some iron. Right? Actually, three iron. Actually, I'll just take my iron nuggets. That'll work. And we'll make... Because item conduits, right? Or item ducts aren't so bad to make. And we can use for fused quartz if we want transparent ones. So that's cool, right? But let's get the uh, item retriever first. So that just needs glass. So hey, you come here. And we're going to see if this works. I'm not entirely sure if it will, but I'm hoping it will. Uh, and it'll make my life a little bit easier because you can you can rate limit these things right and that would be nice so item item ducts so we have fluid ducts and we have structural ducts and we have signal and plated impulse item ducts but i don't think we want to use those um so what we'll do is we'll grab a little bit of quartz right drop it in this bad boy like that. And we get fused quartz, which is ore dictionary with hardened glass. Okay. And then we can do some tin. And we've got item ducts. Hooray. Cool. Uh, now, for, for, for the purposes of testing, right, what I want to do is grab a couple chests and make sure that this works. Because testing is important when you're doing things like this before you go out into the field and actually do it. So with a retriever node, right, we can whitelist. So that specifies the stack size allowed, right? So I don't think we want to do that. What we'll probably want, I thought with higher tier retrievers, you could specify max stack size. Right? But maybe I'm making that up. Let's try it with Electrum, because it's pretty much the same recipe. If not, we're going to have to do a filter, because filters will definitely allow us to do that um, and specify the max allowed, right? But I think retrievers can too, if I'm not mistaken. So do we have any Electrum handy? We have one Electrum, which is not enough, so we'll get silver and gold. Doop. Doop. And then uh, our two of these dudes, another of you, and we should be cool. All right, so let's do an Electrum tier. Good, that's what I want. So we want to keep one of each type in here is what we're going to say, right? So if I were to put um, like a white list of wood, right? If you throw wood in there, it will uh, retrieve one wood and that's it. Cool, right? And it'll bounce back the extras. That's cool, all right, nice. And then once you're removed, it'll get the next one. Beautiful, I like it. All right, so let's take you off here. And then the other thing we're going to want is probably another retriever would be nice. So let's do another uh, Electrum-based retriever. So that's the part I wasn't sure about, if Iron Tier had that max uh, in the inventory thing. But it doesn't, and that's okay. So you guys become an eye. I need uh, a couple more Iron Nuggets. And we'll get another Electrum dude, and then we're cool, right? So do we want to sleep through this night? I think I want to kill a couple more mobs when it's nighttime. So let me do that. And if I can, I'd like to fill up this will thing and then we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to call that enough progress. Just slept through the night. Let's just dump out uh, some of the mob drops we got here. And that should be good. Looking cool to me. All right, and then you. 
So let's take these guys. Okay. And we'll set up our altar for a little bit of automation. Okay. So I'm thinking what we'll do is basically you and you. And the reason I'm having this other retriever is I'm planning for the future, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to set up you with a retriever here, and you're allowed to retrieve living rock, and that's it, right? So you... I'll always take more will. Thank you. And I know my thingy's full because it's dropping the will as items. So there's that. Uh, actually, no, wait. It's not full. Okay. Neat. Well, if it did drop the walls items, it's weird. Anyway, not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. Uh, so we're going to get you here, you there, right? You're going to whitelist Living Rock, and you're allowed to have one at a time. Okay? Always active. And you, sir, are going to do blank slates as a whitelist. And you're allowed to have 32 in here at a time. So what'll happen is this will keep running until we get 32 blank slates. Now next tier, we're gonna want more, so that's gonna be cool. But we'll get to that point. We we'll get to that point, right? So for now, if I drop these in here, what should happen is one comes out at a time, and we're good. Now the only other thing we're doing is we're not measuring the amount of fluid in the tank and saying not to pull if we don't have enough fluid. So I'd like to see if we have something that'll let us do that, because uh, there's the fluid monitor. Might be liquid monitor. Uh, from RF tools is how I usually do that, but that's a complicated machine that I do not uh, look like I'm going to be doing much with <laughs> at this point. Uh, so that's cool, right? I don't know if you emit a comparator signal, right? Uh, fluid. Anything in here that looks like it's a fluid detector of some kind. It doesn't really look like it. So there's a bunch of that stuff. I'm sure there's probably a block that can do it. But uh, like basically what I want to do is emit a redstone signal based on... Oh, and we want you to be ignored, right? Also, how are you doing? Are you good? Yeah, no more flames, so we're cool, right? So this will cook... And then it'll go. And then it'll cook, and then it'll go. And then it'll cook, and then it'll go. And that'll be good. Let's uh, real quick grab a comparator if we can and just see if there's some kind of redstone signal output from that altar. I, I want to say there's not, but you never know. It might have been added, right? So let's try it. Um, so we're going to get some of you. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's do the thing. All right, a piece of quartz and some smooth stone for a comparator. Okay, and since we're here, we can put away all this junk that we just got uh, from killing those mobs that were hovering around outside. Did I put the wrong things in here? I did. Any other mob drops? You, and that's about it. Cool. So we'll check the comparator to see if it's about emitting a redstone signal, but I don't think so. I think we need some kind of fluid monitor, and that will be the trick. Oh, you do seem to be emitting a redstone signal, don't you? Am I right about that? I meant to grab redstone, and then I got distracted by the whole... Yeah, it did look like it was emitting a redstone signal, didn't it? Yeah, look at that! Redstone power of six! Alright, cool! I didn't think that was a thing! But maybe it's a thing now? Right? So only work with high signal. Okay, and then we'll eat a taco, which are delicious. I'll make sure this guy's nice and charged up, right? So in theory, you're only allowed to run with a high redstone signal, right? We need a lot more health. Also, there's another thing I want to do to make my life easier here, but we'll get to that in a minute. If we have time. Cool. Alright, there we go. Let's do the thing. 
Booyah. So you are sort of. I'm bad with vanilla redstone because reasons. What we'll probably want to just do is get a little bit more of this stuff. There you are. Does that work? Nice. Okay, cool. And then when we don't have enough in there, I mean, it's ugly and it's horrible and it's vanilla redstone and it's bad direwolf, but uh, the concept is there, right? The concept of it working is there. How's my fruit, by the way? Nice. We're getting toughness. We're getting strength. We're getting resistance. That's cool. Yeah, keeping a balanced diet is actually pretty beneficial. It's just unfortunate that it's so, you know, not beneficial to not do that. Okay, so that'll give me some better healing. Uh, let's come back in a sec. All right, guys. So let's get a Celestial Crystal. And he's at cutting 81. And his size is decent, 84. 97. So remember, uh, you grind a stone to increase its cutting. You throw it into uh, a pool of liquid water like that. Now here's a question. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. It would be cool if I could apply to, like... I don't think that'll work, though. I think that's just applying it to, like, the the block below it. Um, but we're going to be making a thing here. So that should just increase the size. It should, it should absorb stuff from the liquid starlight and increase the size of the crystal. In theory. In theory. And I don't know that there's an easy way to speed that up, but we'll just see what happens. If I can get it to max size and max cutting, I'm not going to worry about the purity of the crystal just yet. We'll increase purity at some point in the future. But for now, what I want to get is a ritual pedestal, which just needs a rock crystal. Or am I out of rock crystals like entirely? Because I probably am like a derp. I probably have no more rock crystals, do I? Uh, let's grab real quick the resonating wand in the offhand is how you figure out if there's rock crystals right and do you have a destruction gadget you do so i want to i want to take care of two things before the end of the episode and this is both of them well this is one of them so while you're happening let's also yeah you finished right so your size should be bigger now yeah, see, 391. Beautiful. So let's do that. Um, the other thing, we're waiting for nighttime. Oh, there's some... Yeah, right here. I thought we got this one already. Works for me. Cool. Um, hey, Satchel, can you go away? And I'm gonna need you in a minute, but we'll put him away for now. And you, and you. And that's good enough for now. Because I just needed to get this thing. There we go. Come on. There we are. And dirt it up. Cool. So you're bound to a different thing than I want you to be bound to at the moment. But can I make this real quick? Hey, cool. You're at 504. Wow, you grow pretty quick, to be fair. You're happy? Yeah, you're good. Not terrible. All right, so you, we need one of these, and then we should be able to make this, okay, with that. Beautiful. 
All right. Um, and then I want to get this thing to max size. And then the other thing we need to do, I need you actually, because I need the constellation Vicio. No. I need the constellation Avitus. Yeah, I think this is it. Yes, Avitus. 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 Boom. Hold you in the offhand. You completed crafting. You're still growing up. Whoops, I did not mean to break that. Okay. So here, 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 here. Didn't I have another one or two of these? Yes, I did. Good. I really didn't feel like crafting another one of those right now. Hey, beautiful. Nice. All right, so now we just have to get you all growed up uh, well before pumpkin turn in time. Okay, so you're at 626. So let's get this guy's stats increased with a bucket of this. And keep this, I'd like to get him up to a max size of uh, 900. So let's come back in a minute when that's done. Now I'm pretty sure I can keep growing this guy after I attune him to a specific crystal. So once he finishes his growth here, we'll do the attunement bit, uh, and then we'll finish growing him. Does that sound, I think that's right. There we go. So you're at now size 751, which is pretty close to max, but I think I'd just drop you in there, right? Hey, yeah, now we're cooking. Sweet. So we're attuning this celestial crystal crystal thingy to the constellation of Vetus, right? There it goes. So it's getting attuned. Woohoo! Attunement go. Wowzers. That is so cool looking. I gotta say. And we are past the wrapping up point for the episode, but I want to finish this before we wrap up. So now if we look at this and hold shift, we'll see it's tuned to a Vetus, which is cool. And I should still be able to uh, get buckets and do that, right? So let's get that charged up to 900 now. All right, so that last crystal growth, it's at 850 right now and 900 is the max. So we'll get him cleaned up in a moment, but check this guy out. I know. I kind of want to sleep through the night. I think I can sleep through the night safely. I don't think the ritual will be as good during the day as it would be at night, but it'll make it easier for me to do the thing, and then at least we'll see what it's going to do for us, right? So for this ritual platform, which we'll put over here and we might wind up moving, and I think there's a copy and paste of it, but... Oh, oh my goodness. That was impressive. Escape! Not that I can't kill them, but also this thing should be done growing by now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I lied. I'll, uh, maybe while I'm waiting for this, I will prep my copy and paste thingy. So I think we can do that. Hey, there it is. Nice. So you're at 900. Woo, good enough. Now to make this perfect, we would need to improve purity which you drop a full-sized crystal into a liquid vat like that, and it has a chance to split into two smaller crystals with better purity. Um, but we're not going to do that. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Does that mess up? No, it doesn't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So basically we want a 9 by 9 of uh, flatness. So let's do this. Uh, you can go away and you can come out. And you're going to do with a depth of one, okay? So for now, our ritual is gonna sit here. Sounds like a nice place, right? Uh, and the structure is gonna be, right in the middle is the chiseled guy. Is that middle? No, that's middle, right? 
And then around it is one, two, three bricks. I've been doing these as copy and paste, but this is a small one, so it's all good. And then is it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three? Does that look right? I think so. Yeah. And then in the inside, I might need a little bit more marble here. And this is astral sorcery marble, yes. Because we needed 12 of those. Perfect, 12 marble. And then 20 arches, they're just gonna be on the outer edges. All right, and now for the ultimate trick, undo. Puts the grass black. <laughs> Neat. All right, so I should be able to put this attuned crystal there. And hey, look at that, regeneration too. Booyah. What's up? You guys like? I hope so, because I like. So check this out now, right? We take our sacrificial dagger. You're all sacrificial and ready to go. Boom, that's making the stuff. And I've got some pretty good healing going on. Look at that, look at my health. That's better than regeneration two. This ritual not only applies regeneration two, but it directly heals you. And it gets better at night and it can be improved. This is a weak form of this ritual. It can be better than this. You like? Because I like. Okay. Um, wrapping up point? Definitely. So some of these things are probably in temporary locations. Um, but if you guys want to uh, make me a cool looking blood magic area, I would not be opposed. For now, it's Daryl 20 signing off point. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. Uh, we'll continue down this path. And probably the very first thing I'm going to do is make that thing from blood magic that I really want to have. All right, guys. Take it easy. Where's my food?